Have human beings been hurt or killed by a non-human intelligence? Well, I can't get into the specifics because that would reveal uh, certain U.S. classified in, uh, operations. Uh, I was briefed by a few individuals on the program that there were um, malevolent events like that. So this is at least interesting. You know, we have to take seriously any time uh, someone like David Grush, who appears to be, you know, by all accounts, uh, a, a serious individual, you know, not just some crank who's you know working in uh, the Air Force military intelligence and who's claiming to be a whistleblower. You know, what he's saying is rather extraordinary that the United States and other governments has been uh, recovering um basically crashed or landed alien spacecraft, right? They use their euphemisms, you know, non-human intelligence origin things, you know, uh, and even some bodies of aliens, non-human, you know, extraterrestrial aliens. Uh, so definitely interesting. I still don't believe any of it, though. I got to be honest with you. I am skeptical of the whole thing. It seems to be falling into the same pattern that we have been seeing for the last 70 plus years. At the end of the day, it's all just stories and innuendo and friend of a friend kind of indirect evidence and just a suggestion that there's something sinister going on. But you never, ever, ever see actual evidence. Now, of course, the moment someone comes forward with actual evidence, then I will reevaluate that. I'm happy to change my mind. If the United States and other governments have been engaged in a multi-decade campaign to recover and examine alien spacecraft, I would be extremely interested in that. I, that would be fascinating. I just don't think it's happening. It doesn't make, the story doesn't make any sense to me. So first of all, so this requires that aliens are visiting the earth. They're obviously keeping their presence secret from the public, you know. Uh, but they're crashing all the time. How does that make any sense? They have the technology to travel interstellar distances, which is, you know, we don't even know how we would do it at this point in time. That's extremely advanced technology. And they're having trouble keeping from crashing on Earth. Why would that happen? Or there's the suggestion that maybe at times we've shot them down. Really? We shot them down? That's like, trying to take down an F-16 with a good longbow. You know, it's like the, the technological disconnect there doesn't make sense either. Um, and let's say we did it once. You don't think that they would learn from that to keep it from happening again, but they're saying this has been happening multiple, multiple times over decades. Further, I don't believe that the government has the capability of keeping this level of secret for this long. It, there's no evidence that they can do it. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense over multiple, multiple administrations. Are you telling me that if Donald Trump got word of this when he was president, he would not have leaked this? He would not have just decided that this is something that they put the American public need to know at no point. No one decided that this, you know, didn't need to be the very existence of it didn't need to be classified. I can understand why if they had alien material that they were trying to reverse engineer, that they would keep the material secret and what they learned secret, but just the very fact of their existence over decades, they're going to keep it secret. I don't think so. And then they make it worse by saying that other countries are involved. So not only is one country involved, every country in the world who happens upon these alien material have also kept it secret for decades. I'm sorry, that is completely implausible. So the story does not make any sense. It doesn't make any sense that they would be here. If they were, it doesn't make sense that they would be crashing like flies all over the place. It doesn't make sense that the government could keep it secret for that long or that multiple governments can keep it secret for that long. And then when, you know, I'm always looking for what's the real evidence here? What are they actually saying? And when, of course, we don't have all the details yet. We don't have the full disclosure, the full interview, and I will we'll happily pour through those details when they become available. But it's always just a suggestion. You know, at one point he says, I have proof, not of aliens, but I have proof that the government is hiding information. Okay, so what? Yeah, the government hides information, not something on this scale, you know, not, not for a long period of time. They can keep things secret for a short period of time, but not on this scale for so long through multiple, again, administrations. Um, but, but there's no, there's a suggestion that, yes, yeah, somebody told me that there was, you know, 
people were hurt. Yeah, by in what exact circumstances? By by what? You know, what exactly happened? You always get the little tidbits of a suggestion that there's something going on, but never the actual uh, firsthand information, the physical objects, actual evidence. It's always just a friend of a friend and a suggestion and being, you know, it's being weaved into this compelling UFO narrative. This guy sounds sincere. He may believe that the that, you know, the information that he was next to adds up to the government's hiding aliens. But I think he's making a huge leap of inference at one or multiple junctures. And he is maybe not being completely transparent about what he actually knows and what he is inferring from what he thinks he knows. So I predict that yet again, this is going to be a massive nothing burger, that at the end of the day, we're gonna be no closer to having any real information about aliens visiting the Earth. And by the way, NASA has already came out and said, mm, no, that as far as they're concerned, they have zero information about our government having access to any alien space technology. And you kind of would think that NASA would know about that if it did exist. Now, of course, the conspiracy theorists can just say, well, everything's a lie. Everything's a lie. They're lying about everything. Of course, they didn't take this guy out, right? That's the, that's the other way the conspiracy theories always fall down because they need somebody with the information or somebody who's a whistleblower, but at the same time, they need to maintain this narrative that the government has this totally locked down, except for this one guy or these people who somehow come, come through with the suggestive but not really definitive information. You can't have it both ways, right? Either the government has a lockdown and we would never even hear about it, or they don't, and then why doesn't NASA know that, that we have alien material or alien spacecraft? No one in the scientific community apparently knows. You know, Congress apparently doesn't know. Um, so the whole story doesn't make sense. It's just a massive, yet again, a massive conspiracy theory built on innuendo and suggestion. I'm happy to change my mind when I see some actual evidence. That's been my position for the last 40 years, and I have yet to see any actual evidence that is in the slightest bit compelling. It's all still just storytelling.